Hello again, Brian McNichols here with ToyingPlans.com, and this is your weekly dose of theme park news, although once again we're just kind of staying at Walt Disney World because they keep announcing things, although we found out why this week. They kept announcing things because they were about to raise ticket prices. Before we get into that, and a new dining option, and a crazy rumor that I just kind of love, that's why we're talking about it. I want to ask you to please subscribe because we put out some really cool videos. Just yesterday on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2017, I did a video all about Pandora, the world of Avatar, and its effect on the crowds at Animal Kingdom. Not how many people, there's going to be a lot, but how they move, where they go, and where you should go to avoid them. It's a really cool video involving me pointing at a map for 10 minutes or so. It's pretty interesting. I enjoyed doing it, and uh, you can check that out. So you don't miss things like that. That's why you need to subscribe to our YouTube page. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Share us if you like it. Like us if you share it. No, that didn't work. And go ahead and comment below. Tell me what I'm missing, what I need to cover next week, all that stuff, because I will be back every Wednesday with the news. All right, so tickets, tickets, tickets. All the Walt Disney World tickets went up in price. It's only a couple percentage points based on what they were, and the one-day tickets really didn't go up much at all. But we're talking you know, a couple hundred dollars here on some of these tickets, so a few percentage points makes a difference. Take a look at this chart right here. Now, what you'll see, the very top, those are the one-day tickets. These didn't change that much, and frankly, not that many people buy one-day tickets. The middle section there is what you're probably looking at. Those are the multi-day passes. Now the top row, those are the base tickets. Those are single parks. You know, Monday you go to Magic Kingdom, Tuesday you go to Epcot. You can leave the Magic Kingdom, but then you have to go back to the Magic Kingdom. Can't go to a second park. If you wanna to go to a second park in within one day, so if you wanna to go to Magic Kingdom in the morning, Epcot in the evening for dinner, that's when you need a park hopper pass. That's that middle one. All of these prices are for an adult ticket that is 10 years old and over. The children's tickets are a little cheaper, but frankly, it's not that much. It's, you know, $10, $20 cheaper at most. So these aren't that far off. All of these prices also include tax for you. That Park Hopper Plus, that third row in the middle section there, that is what used to be called the Water Parks Fun and More. That allows you entries to water parks, allows you rounds of miniature golf, entry to the Disney Quest while it's still there. You get one entry to one of those things per day. So say you're getting that five-day ticket for $490, then you can go five times to a water park, to a miniature golf, things like that. So you, that goes up. You get a nine-day ticket, you get nine of those. You see where this is going. If you have questions about it or just want to see a new video about it, make sure you let me know in the comments below here. All right, next thing. Uh, oh, and before I move on tickets, there are Florida resident discounts. There are military discounts. That I, it was too confusing already. I didn't want to list that stuff. But if you go to touringplans.com, look at our ticket calculator, look at all of our ticket info, uh, we have all of that stuff there for you. Next thing, new quick service and lounge, Geyser Point Bar. This is at Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. Just opened up um, Monday, I think, like a day or two ago. We don't even have any, um, there are pictures available, you can find them. We, at, at meaning touring plans, uh, don't really have our photos. Our dining expert hasn't been there to review it yet. Next week, I will go more into that. What you need to know is that it is open now. It is quick service all day. It is a bar, a lounge, specialty drinks. It is, if you are at Wilderness Lodge in the pool area facing Bay Lake, it is off to your right over in between the building and the marina. Looks really, really cool. Last thing, this is something we don't normally do, and that's a rumor. We like to talk about, you know, the facts on this show, the things that have happened, the things that are officially announced but this one's too good. This image that you are looking at right now is from wdwmagic.com. Disney has filed permits with Orange County uh, for construction of things that look specifically like Skyway stations. Now, what the thought is, is that these will be more like gondolas and, and there are some that are in use in other cities. It looks kind of like a Skyway, except the cars are enclosed like a cable car would be. Now, back to the map, you can see here it would connect Art of Animation Resort, Hollywood Studios, Caribbean Beach Resort, Epcot, 
Um, that one at Boardwalk, I, I don't think that's a station. I think that's just a turn. Because um, Boardwalk, you could just walk to Epcot. You wouldn't want to walk backwards. But anyway, I just had to talk about this because this is one of the coolest rumors I've ever heard. That would be super rad. And because they're, they're uh, doing DVC now at Caribbean Beach, that makes a lot of sense. It, it's a lot easier to charge more money if you have a quick way into the parks. It also kind of makes me wonder what's going on with Art of Animation Pop Century down there. Why they get one too. Uh, is there going to be a value resort DVC? Who knows? That's it for this week. Make sure you subscribe again, please. That really helps us out uh, for other people to find us. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm.